Dear students, now we are going to discuss the principle of carry look ahead adder in detail. Let's discuss why we need fast adders. There are some limitations in parallel binary adder. The major limitation of the parallel adder is its ripple carry delay or carry propagation delay. So here we have to consider 4 bit parallel binary adder. In a parallel adder, the higher order adder cannot perform the addition operation without the carry from the previous stage. So it has to wait for the carry from the previous stage. This leads to a time delay in the addition process. So it limits the operation speed. So in a parallel adder, the output is available only after the carry is propagated through each of the adders. That is the major drawback. For example, in a 4-bit parallel adder, each full adder has 20 nanoseconds delay. Then the total time required for the final output is getting delayed by 4 times 20 nanoseconds that is 80 nanoseconds. If it is 16 parallel adder then the delay time is 320 nanoseconds. So this is what the propagation delay time. In order to speed up the adder circuit fast adders are used. So example for this fast adder is carry look ahead adder. Carry look ahead adder is a fast adder. It is based on the principle of looking at the lower order bits of the inputs if a higher order carry is generated. So here we can generate the higher order carry while performing the addition for the lower bits of the inputs. Two carry related functions are involved in this carry look ahead adder. One is carry propagation, the next one is carry generation. Carry propagation is denoted as PI. Carry generation is denoted as GI. This is the full order logic diagram where there are three inputs AI, BI, CI. Here I represents ith term of full adder in a parallel binary adder. Okay. So here we can get the carry propagation as the XR between AI and BI. Carry generation can be obtained as the AND operation between A and B. Okay. So then the sum can be obtained as B that is propagation XR with generation. So here G represents what? Carry generation. P represents carry propagation. Okay. Then the carry of this full adder is CI plus 1 that is equal to the product of carry propagation and the input carry for this full ladder. Okay, so this can be given like this. So here carry propagation is equal to XR operation between AI and BI. And carry generation is equal to AI multiplied with BI. The sum of this full ladder is obtained by XR operation between carry propagation and the input carry. Similarly, we can get carry output like this. Okay. So, here GI that is carry generate. That means it produces the carry. PI represents carry propagate. That is the propagation of the carry from CI to CI plus 1. The logic of the carry look ahead adder is explained here. The carry output of each stage can be obtained by using the formula CI plus 1 that is equal to GI plus PICI. Here GI represents the carry generation which is equal to the multiplication of two inputs. PI represents the carry propagation which is equal to the XR operation of two inputs. Okay. So here C0 represents the first input carry to the first full ladder circuit. So next C1. C1 means the carry of the second full ladder. This is the carry input for the second full ladder. Okay. So here C1 is equal to according to this formula we can write 
G naught plus P naught C naught. So then C2. C2 means the input carry for the third full ladder. Okay. So here C2 is equal to what? G1 plus P1 C1. The C1 can be replaced by using this formula. Then we can write G1 plus P1 multiplied with this C1 is nothing but G0 plus P0 C0. Then we can multiply inside this. We can get G1 is equal G1 plus P1 G0 plus P1 P0 C0. That is equal to C2. So this is the input carry for the third full ladder. So next C3. C3 what? This is the output carry for the third full ladder but input carry for the fourth full ladder. Correct? So C3 means output carry of the third full ladder, input carry for the fourth full ladder. That is equal to G2 plus P2 C2. So here C2 is replaced with the above equation. Then we can get G2 plus P2 into G1 plus P1 G0 plus P1 P0 C0. So multiply inside these things we can get finally C3. That is the higher order carry input to the last full ladder circuit in the parallel binary adder. That is equal to G2 plus P2 G1 plus P2 P1 G0 plus P2 P1 P0 C0. Okay, so from this expression we come to know that the C3 does not wait for C2 and C1 to propagate. Okay, so here C3 is estimated at the same time as C2 and C3 are estimated. So here the propagation delay time is getting reduced. So it speeds up the operation of parallel binary adder. Hence it is called as fast adder. Okay, so here we can mention the sum output of each stage as S0 is equal to P0 plus C0. Okay, here S0 is equal to what? P0 plus C0. Here P0 is nothing but carry propagate which is equal to the XR operation between the two inputs A and B. So this S0 can be written as A0, XR with B0, XR with C0. Similarly, we can get S1, S2, S3. For this Boolean expressions, we can draw the logic diagram of carry look ahead adder. So, this is the diagrammatic representation of carry look ahead adder. Okay, so here A3, B3, both are given to XR gate, which will generate carry propagate, and both are given to AND gate to generate carry generation. Okay, so we are giving carry propagate and carry generate as input to this carry lookahead generator. Then we can generate this carries and produce the outputs. Okay, so this is the diagrammatic representation of carry lookahead adder. It is available in chips also that is integrated chips IC 748182.